Hey everyone, and today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to save money for AG doll, AG product, anything really, maybe some AG custom, I don't know. This can be worked for anything, so excuse the weird graphics of Blossom and different clothing for the intro, that's it. But, um, so basically I'm gonna teach you how to make the money, save the money, um, and then basically how you're gonna store the money and stop from so spending. My first tip is just to do a lemonade stand. If it's cold, maybe you can do a hot chocolate stand, maybe some Kool-Aid, maybe you made some juice. Um, I just feel this is a quick and simple idea you can do. Just do it on your street and the funds will come rolling in. <laughs> um, you may not make as much as some of the other things on, these li on this list, but it is a good starter one for you younger you, you younger ones, and I think that is good. Don't price it too high. Um, the most I'd say is two dollars. Honestly, the most is two dollars. So start from twenty-five cents to two dollars. That's your range limit, I feel. And this is just a real easy, easy way to get the money coming in. Okay. My second idea is babysitting. If you are old enough, this is for our older girls. So 12 and up, if you're old enough, babysit. It's so simple. If you like kids, this is great. You can just maybe even just ask maybe your little cousins or ask your parents if you can babysit your little siblings. Get the word out there. Maybe if you have younger teachers, perhaps, you can ask them. Um, maybe go to your parents' work with them some days and ask them. Maybe ask your parents to spread the word around you. Maybe print out some flyers and hang them up some places you don't know. Whatever you want. So I think babysitting is a good idea. Next is along the lines of babysitting, but you don't need to be as old for it. And it's puppy sitting! Oh my god. So you get to hang out with cute puppies. Like, that is the best thing in this job. It's a great way to make money. So... The puppies is the best part of this. Just, I love that. Again, if you're older, maybe you can house it if you're old enough for that. So I suggest if you're not with a parent doing it, you can do house sitting. I don't think that's the best one, but if you want, I don't know, you can just um, house sit. That's another idea. Next, we're going to add that is sell your old AG items. Now, personally, I will keep all my AG items. There's not one that I don't really love. I love them all so much, and I would never sell any of them oh, so much. So, but if you want, you can sell them on eBay. Do that. That simple. Just sell your old items, maybe for exchange of the new items that you want to get. My next tip would be tutoring. So let's say you really excel at a subject like French. I'm, I'm really good at French at school, so if you're really good at French and you know someone maybe in your class or younger than you is kind of struggling, you can tutor them and just get a few bucks to, from them while you tutor, you know? And that's just a simple way to make money. Or if they're younger, maybe you can teach them how to read or do their ABCs. Maybe if they can't speak English, because maybe that is the case, you can teach them how to speak English and teach them how to do that. Um, what else? Another, this is going to be my last idea. My last idea of getting money is to basically open an online shop. And what I mean is, well, it doesn't have to be online. I feel like online, if you go on Etsy, is you could make things. Woo! I'm going to go get something I made. So, something that I made that, let's say, I wanted to sell. I don't know why I want to sell this, but I could if I wanted to. Is It's really silly. But I make, I made two or three items of AG clothing. So I have this tutu. 
it's not even full. I just like to use it to like make their dresses a bit more poofy. Just could do that. I did make an AG doll dress. It is still kind of in the works. I love how it looks on Blossom though, because the pattern. It's one sleeve. So yeah, you can uh, maybe if you love customizing, you could open a customizing shop and so you customize the dolls um, for a few months, for a bit of money. But when when you do that, think about how much money did it cost you to make these? So for a custom doll, you had to buy the eyes. Think about how much those eyes were. Think about how much that wig was and ask for a bit more than what you took it from. And also think about how long it took you because that also goes into the price as well. So next up is saving money. So the first tip we have is make a chart. So basically to make your chart, you're just gonna need paper and a pencil and pen. So maybe tape some sheets of paper together and pick a thing. I suggest going up by 15 or 20. So let's say I picked maybe even 25. So let's say I pick 25, then my first number would be 25, and with a little like dash beside it, and the next one would be 50. And once I get to 25, I'm gonna cross that out in pencil, and let's say I get to 50, cross that out in pencil. But then I spend $25 and I'm back to 25, I'm gonna have to erase what I got to on my 50, you know? And so this, you could also use it in pen or highlighter, that way you can't really um, take it away, and that way you won't be able to spend it. Um, the next idea is if you love shopping and like you need new clothes because you've outgrown grown some old ones. I love shopping! But with my old clothes, I like to upcycle. Like. You can make these just using sleeves of an old t-shirt, and voila, now you don't need to spend your money on getting new clothes. I saved your life! I saved it! Woohoo! Okay, thanks for that show kit. Oh, you're so welcome. I know, I'm welcome back anytime I want. Just go, go, okay. So another idea I have for you is if you're saving it, maybe put it in a jar. I used to keep my money in a jar and when you do this, you can put it up on a real high shelf and higher than you can reach. Maybe you put it in a lock box, that way it's all locked up and you have to, and give the key to someone and say, don't let me have this. In t and you have to put the money inside of the jar or a lockbox, that way I never make contact with it. That way, like, you can't, it's gonna be harder for you to get to it, and that person's not gonna give you the key unless they see to your chart that you've made it all the way up to your goal for whatever you wanted, or it's, or you're about to go to the AG store and you wanna take that out to buy stuff. That way you're not spending it. So that's another idea. Another idea for saving your money is having two jars. One that's lower and you put less money in it and that one's for you to spend and the other high one top security is what you can't spend and you're saving it. So yeah, that was that. So the next one is spending it wisely. We're gonna get Z out of for this picture. Spending it wisely. I am very wise. I am Blossom. And I wanted to talk about this to you. So spending your money wisely is very important. Pick a good thing to set your goal on. And don't change your goal. Always have the same goal. So if you want a new H doll, like our newest doll in the member, our newest doll member family, is me, Z, and I love it here. Yeah, so if 
if you're saving up for Z, let's say, then in the middle, don't say, oh, well, actually, I may just get these accessories so I can take that money and buy something else. Don't do that. You can change it for another gel that's the same price. Maybe, or you can pick something higher. Don't pick something lower, because if you do that, you're going to take the money out and spend it. And maybe he'll be like, oh, actually, I do really want Z. And then it's time for you to go to the AG store, and you can't buy Z or Addy or Felicity. And you have to get stuck with buying an outfit, which is nothing wrong with it. Let's say you really want the gourmet kitchen, but you changed it to a doll. And and then, even though know, you love your doll, you really wish that you would have gotten that gourmet kitchen instead. So, just don't change it. Another idea for smart spending is when going to the store, have someone with you. Don't go alone, because if you go alone, you may take that money that you've saved and let's say you're going to buy Z and you go by the store and you're like, and you only brought your savings for that one thing is what I suggest. Only bring savings for that one thing and, and plus tax and maybe some food for, I mean, so maybe some money for food or something. Let's say you're walking past the store and it's like, oh my God, that dress is so amazing. I need it. Ka-ching, ka-ching. The dress is mine. Sure, you got this real pretty dress, but it may have cost the same amount of money as Z. So Z goes flying out the window. Yeah, I know, not a pretty picture. So after you do that, then you can't have her. So if you just go with enough money for Z and maybe some food, next time you go walking by and see a pretty dress, you can say, oh, that's so pretty. Too bad I only have the money for Z on me and I'm convinced on Z. So just turn in the other direction into the, or just ignore it and go, bye bye dress. So that is another idea. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's probably really long, but I keep no track of no track of time how long other videos are. So before we continue, we would like to say a special thanks to, of course, Blossom, who I'm gonna be trying to put in more videos. I love her so, so much. She's one of my favorite dolls, actually. Another big thank you to Z. My newest doll, who I love so much, and of course she's going to be in a lot of videos. If you want to see like how to make stop motion, just tell me. Maybe I'll just do it, and Z will be in that video. And a uh, special thanks to Kit, who was only in for a short period of time, but I really like this outfit. i just like to say that was not cut off from a AG shirt, but I have done that before for myself. And sometimes I cut my pants into shorts if like there's a hole in the pants, you know, or if I've grown the pants, I just cut them into shorts and they look really all nice. I've done that so many times. So that's for the upcycling. And of course, special thanks to the puppy scooter for being in this video. And we will see you next time on Fania's AG World. Bye! Boop!